that I mentioned earlier about mileage, I could pick how many miles. miles. Do I want 10,000, 12,000, 15, even, you even said 20? Right, here's, here's the way that that works, okay? Typical leases are 12,000 miles or 15,000 miles per year, okay? okay? And, and you really need to make sure that if you do one of those, mm -hmm. that you are gonna be able to stay within that. If you go over a few miles, typically with a Honda, you're gonna trade it in and it's not gonna matter, okay? If you need more miles than that, people go, well, you know, I drive more than that. I drive 20, I drive 25,000 miles a year. You can work that into the lease. Now, that may get closer to what a payment would, you know, one of the advantages of the lease is to have a lower payment. Okay. Okay. So you may get closer to a regular retail mm -hmm. payment by adding extra miles. But think about it. If you're doing 20 or 25,000 miles a year, you've got a three-year-old car with 75,000 miles on it. A lot of you're, miles. You're probably thinking about getting rid of it anyway. Well. This again gives you a guarantee of what the value of that car is, is going to be. And you can still purchase an extended service contract and put it into your lease to cover you out to those miles if you need it. So again, if you're driving that many miles, you either live a really long way from work or your friends, uh, or possibly you use it for work and your car is more of a tool anyway. Mm -hmm. So you might as well, again, just set your expense up properly. And then when you get to the end, you can decide what you want to do. You can decide if you want to keep the car, trade the car, whatever you want to do. So you just need to explore it. You just need to, to see if it works mm -hmm. for you if you drive that many miles. Now, there's, if you go 50, 60,000 a year, I, I don't know. I mean, at that point, you probably need to be paying cash for something. <laughs> you know, at least probably wouldn't work. Okay. But so if I bought a 12,000 mile a year lease, mm -hmm. but I ended up having about 15,000 miles, so I've gone a, way over, what happens at the end of my lease? Okay. You have three options at the end of the lease, basically. You can buy the vehicle, okay. uh, you can trade the vehicle, or you can turn the vehicle in. And okay. buying, people pretty much get. The turning in mm -hmm. and trading is where people get confused, okay? If you turn the vehicle back into Honda, okay, okay and you've gone over on your miles, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll send you a bill like any manufacturer for, depending on the value of the car, 15 or 20 cents per mile that you went over. It's not that much. Okay. If you trade the vehicle in, there are no expenses because basically the dealership's buying your car, paying it off, and those miles don't matter. Now, again, I want to be careful with that because I don't want somebody to do a 15,000 mile a year lease and drive 25,000 miles a year and go, well, you said that the miles didn't matter as yeah, long as I traded it in. It, it's going to affect the value of the car. But typically with a Honda, it's not, if you're just a few miles over, it's not going to affect it enough to where you're going to need to turn the vehicle back in.